Hi folks, Glyn here, and this is going to be probably the fastest ever Photoshop technique you're ever going to see me do. This is like very, very quick, very simple to do, but just because it is quick and simple doesn't mean to say it's not effective because this technique for body resizing is something that I do on... I don't know, maybe 90% of the images that I do. Certainly pictures I have uh, where there's males in it who are bodybuilders. And also you can use a similar kind of effect for when you're photographing females or retouching pictures of females. And the effect I'm on about is this one. On screen, you can see a picture of a pretty big guy anyway, Steve Lewington. He's a friend of mine, ex-American wrestler. This is the final retouch picture, a very low-key picture. I've also got a copy of the out-of-camera picture beneath it. And if I just jump between the two, you'll see the difference. Now, ignore the fact that it's had all this colouring effects to it and a little bit of body reshaping around the waist area. It's look at his shoulders. And I do after, before, after, before, and after. And what you're going to notice is that he's actually a little bit wider. He's actually bigger. And it's a very, very small change but like most things in retouching, those small changes end up making the big difference. So how do we do it? Well, here's my kind of outer camera image here. And yeah, I would have done a little bit more on this, like the little bit of tucking things in and the colouring and so on and so forth. The last thing I would do is create a copy of my picture and then I'll go to Edit and Free Transform. And when we do this, at the top of the screen, we've got all these different options and numbers that appear. Two of them there is W for width and H for height. And in between them, you've got this little chain icon. Now, I don't want to click down on that chain. I only want to work on the width. I don't want the width and the height to change in equal amounts when I do what I'm going to do next. So I'm not going to make sure they're connected. So I'm not going to make sure they're not connected by not pressing down that little icon. All I'm going to do to make Steve wider is go to the width and I can use the scrubby slider. If I click on the W and I can drag to the right, it'll increase it to around about 104 or 105. And then I'll press the tick to commit that. So now when I do the before and after by turning the top layer off, that's before, after, before, after. Really quick, really simple way to increase the size of somebody, but actually do it realistically. In fact, every single time I do this, when I turn off the one that I've just made bigger, it kind of feels like the original one is one that I've made smaller. The one that I've just changed, to me, starts to look more realistic. Now, you can't go, when you're doing this, you can't go to more than 105 when you do the width because then you'll stretch it just too much and it'll look really obvious. So if you're going to do this, if you want to make somebody bigger, don't go any more than 105. Now, just a little tip with this as well. If you're going to do pictures of females and you're going to do a little bit of resizing with them, far bit from me to say, but it might be wise not to go to the right with the width, not to go to the 105, but maybe go the other way to round about 95. Certainly no more than that that looks squash, but just a little bit of a tip that might kind of help you out there. Go, go to the 100 plus for the males and maybe go 100 minus for the females. But it's a very, very quick technique, one that I use all the time just for body resizing using free transform. I'll see you next time.